Welcome back to California Central Valley's Real Estate Show here on www.centralvalleytalk.com. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. I'm excited for our first time guest, Scott Reba. It's his first time on the show today. He's here with Elite Mortgage and Financial Services, and I'm excited to hear about what he brought for us. Scott? Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Pleasure to meet you. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Good. Now I'm excited because during the break he told me it's a great time to buy and I want to hear why. Well, a number of reasons. Number one, we're in Fresno. Uh, Fresno is one of the higher affordability markets in the nation today. Okay. Uh, interest rates are uh, at historical phenomenal levels. We are as close to the lowest rates in recorded history than I can remember. Uh, values are stable. Uh, and it is a good time to buy for both the first time home buyer and move up or uh, next level buyers. Interesting, interesting. Now, what do you have to offer to a first time buyer? Well, first time buyers, I like what Sabrina said was, uh, you know, building relationships with them. Uh, there are first time home buyer education courses that are available through HUD approved uh, uh, counselors here in town, like. Um, uh, Community Housing Council of uh, Central California, and I, I do recommend for first-time home buyers that they do take a home ownership counseling course. It can at least prepare them for uh, the terminology that they'll uh, run into during the process. I know how confusing that can be, especially if it's your first time. You feel like you're right. You feel like you need to study up on uh, your uh, your business test real quick. That's right. Go back to school before you buy a house. Now you said something that's very important to me, Fresno. It's important that you pay attention to what's going on in your local community. It's important that you pay attention to this because why you live in Fresno, correct? Absolutely. I was born and raised here, okay. uh, and I've been involved in real estate since uh, I was born. My father was a real estate broker here in town. Uh, my uncle's a developer and investor. My grandfather was an investor. I've been in the wow. mortgage uh, industry here in Fresno for 18 years. And yes, I, I, I think it's very important that you know your market conditions. So not only have you lived and worked here for a long time, you were born and raised, you, you probably have a network that is out of control here. Yes, that's the whole goal. The goal is networking and marketing and making connections. That's exactly what those of us in real estate and sales uh, are trying to do every day. Awesome. Awesome. Now, are you located or do you, do you provide services in any other city besides Fresno, California? I can lend uh, in any city in California. And as a mortgage broker, one of the benefits I have is that I'm approved with a number of lenders. Uh, and it gives me the flexibility to shop for a loan and customize a loan to your client's needs. And I can lend, uh, you know, one of the nice things about being a mortgage broker is I have the ability to lend from the conventional uh, loan programs like uh, conventional conforming and non-conforming. I al also can lend on the government programs, FHA, VA, and USDA, as well as non-conforming loan programs that fall outside of the, I guess, the uh, traditional loan uh, programs. Uh, commercial lending, business lending up to and including private equity lending. So, oh. Yeah. Now, my little brother is actually an active uh, military. Uh, he's on duty. Now, him and his friends are watching right now, of course. Thank you for big your brother is, uh, Big Brother is Good. hosting a real estate show. But you said something that stuck out. You, you can give discounts or you have incentives to lower interest rates for active military, uh, military members. Can you expand on what you have to offer for the active military? Well, VA home loans are uh, honestly one of the finest home loans out there. And uh, I think the world of the VA home loan. Yeah. Uh, it is 100% financing for your armed services, members of the armed services, both uh, former and active duty. Uh, it's zero percent down, and uh, I think if the rest of the lending environment underwrote their loans the way VA does, we would never have had a housing crisis that occurred in this last decade. We have wow. the lowest default ratio, and it's 100 percent financing with no mortgage insurance. But uh, VA home loans are wonderful. Yeah, super cool, super cool. Now, what else do you uh, what else do you offer that's different? What what makes you different than any other lender or even uh, real estate agency? That's a good question. As a mortgage broker, I have the ability, as I said, to go out and find a loan to, to tailor to your customer's needs. There are many clients today that do fall outside of the traditional lending guidelines, what, what are called the qualified mortgage standards, and I have the ability to uh, take a client that might fall outside of those needs and try to find a loan for that client. Not all clients, there's not a loan for everybody. But uh, if there's a loan out there and I can research it and find it and it's legal, uh, I can do that loan and I can uh, meet your client's needs. That's the goal. Awesome. 
So one of the biggest questions that I've been asked on our social media, on our Facebook and the uh, YouTube comments of Central Valley Real Estate are, I don't know if I can get approved or what does it take to get approved? Uh, what is a good, I guess, guideline of what, how your credit should be, where your finances should be, how much you should be making a year? What really qualifies you to buy a house these days? Well, that's uh, not a, that's not, an not easy exact. question to ask, not an easy question to answer. It, right. it, every uh, scenario that we deal with today is different, but we are looking at a client's credit. We're looking at their income for the last two years. Uh, we're looking at their down payment and closing costs, and we're looking today to see where that is coming from. So every penny coming into a transaction has to be verified and sourced. So we put everything together. We pull the client's credit to get their score, to get their uh, liabilities, their monthly payments, and uh, we can determine a borrower's uh, purchase price range based on processing all of this information. So it's not a real easy question. I need to take an application, pull credit, verify income before I put a prequel letter in an agent's hands and let them go out and spend time and energy and money showing properties to a client that may or may not qualify. So it's very important for a buyer today to get pre-qualified first. That's a great, great answer. Uh, it's extremely important for me to portray this information because I want I want our viewers to not waste their time getting all of that together. I know from experience how my uh, identity stole or my credit card yeah. stolen a couple weeks ago and just dealing with that one charge That's a nightmare. took almost six months. Probably the number one crime in America today and uh, identity theft is definitely something that should be uh, you should watch for. And there are ways that you can do that. You can pull your credit for free from each of the three repositories, okay. TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, and you can pull it once per year for free. And I recommend spreading it out. Pull one every four months. That way you're seeing what activity is going on under your name at least three times a year. And that way you can uh, hopefully catch any of that uh, soon. I know a lot of the credit cards today are going to the new micro trip technology which will hopefully protect us from that but it is best to be proactive pull your credit at least at least twice a year I recommend three times a year uh, and make sure that your activity is uh, just you. Get some great advice up here. I got another question for you now. Sure. What can we do to protect ourselves from identity theft not necessarily identity theft in general, because I know you're not an expert on that, but what can we do you know, as far as the home buying process to make it a little easier for us to get a, to get a home? Well, <laughs> Obviously not as your, your agents stolen. can tell you, there's no easy way to get a loan today. Mm -hmm. The mortgage industry is probably one of the most regulated industries out there, and we face change constantly up to and including just this last two weeks ago, we had some major uh, regulation changes that have been in effect for over 30 years. Um, however, like with all regulation changes that we've faced in the past, um, we work through it and in a short amount of time it's business as usual. Uh, to answer your question, what can a home buyer do to prepare, uh, have your documents available. Two years tax returns, have your uh, pay stubs available, I have you guys banks are writing us available. down. Yeah. No, I just call me and I'm down. happy to uh, walk you through it. Right. And that, you know, that leads me to another point. You said regulations are constantly changing, so I, I think you would agree if it's very important for a home buyer or someone, even if they have knowledge of the market and the process, it's important to, for them to contact someone like yourself Absolutely. to find out what changes have, Absolutely. Been, uh, have been regulated. Yes, what was available uh, September 13th on an FHA loan, September 14th was no longer available. It can happen overnight can just happen like overnight. that. Yes, that is absolutely true. Scott Reba, it's been a pleasure. I got one more question for you. Yes, tight. What can we do to increase uh, or better the market of home buyers, home buying in the Central Valley? Well, I think we're doing what we need to do. We see employment coming up. There's opportunities out there, and um, right now, uh, for for the community out there, what they can do is get involved. Mm -hmm. Getting involved has helped me. It's helped my family, and that's what I I recommend to everybody. Awesome, I couldn't agree with you more. Last week, one of our, our uh, nonprofit guests said the best thing you can do is not hand somebody your wallet, but just go out there and donate your time and your work. Amen. So Scott Reba, very inspirational uh, Central Valley real estate guest, came on with some great advice. Please contact him at Elite Mortgage and Financial Services. Ask him if any of our regulations have changed overnight, okay? You guys, thank you for tuning in, Scott. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. Right after this break, we're coming back with Miss Laura. Stay tuned.